friends texting me, what's happening? What's going on? A garbage truck went up in flames as students in Peters Township walked to the bus stop for their first day of school. Channel 11's Gabriela DeLuca learned about the one item that started this. Neighbors described this as a crazy scene as kids were waiting for the school bus on their very first day. They say they're just thankful no one was hurt. A parent caught this garbage truck smoldering in the middle of a Peters Township neighborhood. It was after it came down Hedgerow Drive where neighbors could see smoke billowing from the bed of the truck just a few yards away from a bus stop. Today you can see burn marks on the ground. The kids just got on the bus for school and we turned around and flame shot out of the top of the fire uh, top of the garbage truck. A waste management spokesperson tells Channel 11 the driver picked up a grill with a propane tank hidden inside and when the truck compacted the waste the propane tank ignited, causing the rest of the trash to catch fire. I thought something like that must have happened, you know, had to be had to be something flammable in the in the uh, in the trash that somebody somebody threw away. The flames got more intense. It was smoking as we saw it kind of coming down the truck uh, down this road and then it, it shot out. I mean, I think about 10 feet up out of the truck, flame shot out of the truck and just and then we had smoke all over the neighborhood. That's when the driver had to dump all of the trash into the middle of the street and firefighters doused it with water. All as kids watched from the school bus. As the kids got on the bus is when the flame shot up out of the truck and all the kids and the bus driver is hanging out the window with their cameras taking a picture saying, hey, call 911. Waste management tells us that customers are not allowed to throw away any flammable objects, plus a number of other items. We have all of that on our website, WPXI.com. Reporting in Washington County, Gabriella DeLuca, Channel 11 News.